Hi, my name is Andres Martinez. I am originally from Jalisco, Mexico. I currently live in Anaheim, California, and I'm a journalist at heart. Uh, I always knew that I was gay, that I was attracted to men. Um, so yeah, um, it, w it, it, it was hard. Because I mean, my dad is a very traditional Mexican man. Um, a conversation that my dad was having with my aunt, um, there were rumors that my cousin was lesbian. And I remember my dad saying, si uno de mis hijos sale maricón le mucho los huevos. I felt the pressure, the pressure was on me. I needed to be the example for the family. I needed to make him proud. I needed to give him a better life. And of course, all of that consisted of giving him a family and of course a wife. So for many, for many, many years, I, I knew that I was gay, but I never had a girlfriend. I just pretended that I was too busy at school, at work. Um, it's funny because I, I, I once uh, one of my good friends, she knew I was gay. She's like, let's be, let's pretend that we're that we're boyfriends. <laughs> so we did. Of course, my dad was happy and things like that. But um, I, I don't think there's a specific day or time anything that happened that every, they changed everything. I don't remember anything specific, but uh, things started changing to the point that one day I told them straight up. Genial. Eh, obviamente sí, existe todavía ese tabú. Existe el tabú de qué tanto decir, qué tanto no decir. Pero a, a mi hermano le, le encanta molestarnos que estamos en familia, en frente de mi papá. O sea, como que he puts me on the spot. Eh, no sé, por ejemplo, ah, me dice hermano, mira hermano, mira, mira. Y yo, stop it, cálmate, ahí está mi papá. So, hasta, um, hasta un cierto límite todavía como que existe... Eh, algún tipo de barrera que sí no, no me permite ser igual como con mis amigos, se podría decir, ¿no? Pero creo que es un poquito más por respeto. Tampoco no le quiero hacer sentir incómodo, ¿no? Pero sí, o sea, obviamente, yo estoy seguro que, por ejemplo, eh, la primera vez que llevé a un chavo a mi casa, que se los presenté como mi amigo. O sea, no hubo ningún problema. Lo, o sea, era como cualquier otra persona, ¿sí? So, 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 son momentos muy, muy agradables que yo nunca en mi vida hubiera pensado cuando tenía 15 años nunca hubiera pensado que iba a estar viviendo esos momentos me growing up I never had those figures so I never had anybody to look up to no, nobody uh, for me to talk to about being gay no, no one to look up, up to In, 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 in all different uh, senses, I mean, uh, acad academically, I, I never had anybody, I mean, nobody from my, uh, I w think I was the first, I'm the first one to graduate, to get a bachelor's in my family, in my entire family. I have over 40 cousins, I was the first one. And yeah, I mean, it was hard, especially coming out. Explore, explore, explore. At your own pace. Uh, I think there's no set of rules for coming out or for exploring your sexuality. Only you know what you want to try. So just explore. Don't be afraid. If there's something you don't like, just don't do it. Estamos en un, en un, bueno, por lo menos para mí, yo soy de los que estamos eh, retomando esa palabra. ¿no? Antes era como que, ay, mira el Joto. Ahora no, ahora sí, ahora soy Joto y orgulloso y I'm proud of it. So. It feels good because I know what I am and it doesn't bother me.